What is up YouTube, this is that Asian dude and I'm going to bring you guys a 5-2 normal defensive scheme. Someone asked for it so I thought I'd deliver. So, um, we'll go into coverage first then blitzes. So, um, uh, you really can't do much here except uh, I'm going to show you guys how to sub your players in. And on the outside you want your probably, yeah, linebackers in, you want linebackers in. Hold on, let me go to the death chart real quick and uh, I'll show you guys. So, uh, never, yeah, alright. So, uh, we got Jason Jones and Ezekiel Anza on the outside right now. Ezekiel Anza could be left alone, however, this Jason Jones probably isn't your best suit. So, um, if we automatically reorder the death chart, death chart, and uh, DeAndre Levy, DeAndre Levy and uh, Al Sh Ashley Palmer is in. So I go to Jason Jones, and we'll put in Julian Stanford. Cause look at his speed. He got he has good speed, and that's what you want. We have Julian Stanford in. Uh, this is for coverage six only. All right. So we have Julian Stanford in, and. Uh, you want to come out in cover three because I always love cover three and you could do whatever you want the defense align but uh, your main objective is to put these guys in purples or flats doesn't really matter it's all up to you but put them in coverage and use the strong safety right here uh, Ehedic bow I guess that's how you say his name or you could even um, put this kind of purple and put this guy in hook zone just so they could get there in time if you double baseline everything will spread out and um, yeah, You'll be good to go um, if you want uh, If you have four linemen to blitz you want the Non linebacker guy in, in my situation to blitz and uh, Yeah, you could still have everything covered basically and you could use your uh, linebacker right here so um this is the gen general coverage or the general base defense you want to come out in if you're going to do a 5-2 normal. Um, it's just a good uh, just a good defense, I guess, for coverage. You can press, do whatever you want. I wouldn't press in this situation because you got Tory, Sis, Tory Smith, Jacoby Jones, and Steve Smith Jr. Or Steve S Smith Sr., my bad. So well, yeah, this is the base defense you want to come out in, and uh, if you want to go man to man ever, uh, so we'll go to cover one real quick because they don't have cover two, cover two man at least. Um, what I would do is I'd hook zone, hook zone, and user this free safety right here, and uh, you could even do that. Uh, keep the outside receivers on the man to man. And if you, if you think your cornerback could keep up with them, even press. Just um, It's all about risk and just press. Uh, you could press against... No, I wouldn't press against Steve Smith. He's too fast. So this is the defense you kind of want if you, uh, like, if you like. Yeah, if you just want it like this. Or you could even run cover one uh, basic. And if you feel like they're going to run um, corner routes... Then move these, move the guy and the man a little bit to the outside. If you think you're gonna, they're gonna run slant. Move these guys a little bit inside, and you'll be good to go right here. So uh, you just basically want to use the middle of the field right here, and uh, that's basically it for that. Now uh, I forgot what cover two. Okay, so this is cover two, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, I would run this too. I would make this like a cover two skate sink type thing, but that's just me. You could have them in a flat. That's all up to you. And um, I, in this situation, I kind of flipped the play. So that way, my line, my faster linebacker can be in coverage instead of Ezekiel Anza because he he can block shit. So this is basically the defense you want. Um, for as far as coverage goes, just look at what your opponent's doing and you gotta mix it in. Um, pinch. It's just a regular, I guess. Uh, just a regular. Uh, man to man blitz, and um, I'll see if I could come up with a little mini blitz right here. So I, I didn't get anything, but um, yeah, so that's basically it for the coverage. And um, 
a lot of times this is what I do with cover one at least or no, never mind. I showed you guys what I was doing with cover one so uh, we're gonna go into the nano blitz part now and the play is called trio sky zone and uh, this uh, in 5-2 it's the pressure is not always that consistent and that's why I don't really recommend um, sending any blitzes because you already have five down linemen so if you want I mean if that makes any sense but anyways uh, this is the general setup. You want to base a line, spread your defensive line, crash them down or to the left. Um, do whatever you want with the right end over there. I have Ezekiel Anza on the purple route. And you want to move this nose tackle one step to the right and re blitz him. And bring this right outside linebacker um, to the, the uh, diagonally back of this defense end over here and re blitz him. This is the setup you want, or this is the setup you're looking for, and uh, we'll run it. And right there, um, I don't know why I'm not getting the B gap, because when I was when I was logging this, uh, the B gap did work. Um, so I'll try it again. Uh, yeah, we'll try it again, and. Um, And it, yeah, see, it all depends on your alignment of the outside linebacker to the defense end. So, I'll show you guys one more time because uh, it really does depend. And try not to use it when the tight end's on that side. So, if you guys didn't notice, I, I flipped the play. I flipped the play to the offensive play to the other side. So, the tight end wasn't on the side that I was running the blitz on because he he can cause a major uh, reaction to the linebacker and the B gap and all that so uh, and at that time I even uh, moved this defensive tackle a couple steps to the right and I don't know if that makes a difference or not but we get that B gap so I don't like I'm not complaining right now so I'll run it for you guys a couple more times maybe and uh, just go over uh, what else you guys want to see from my channel so like uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm doing this because of a request from someone so you could easily request on my channel just let me know I'm thinking of doing dollar three two six I think yeah whatever that formation is I think of doing that next so stay tuned for that um, yeah right there we sort of get the edge pressure he gets tripped up but that's okay anyways um that's the end of that guys I hope you guys enjoy it's just a quick little video on the uh, uh, five to normal scheme well not really quick actually but you guys understand the general idea so anyways thanks for watching guys i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys next